So, Game of Thrones has finally come to an end. What was it, 73 episodes, 8 seasons? Holy crap, so we just got to see the finale, and I got some things to say about it. If you're not into spoilers, please, go watch something else, come back another time, let me know what you think, because we gonna be spoiling some stuff. So, this season has been so, like, short. I mean, we knew it was gonna be a shorter season, but this thing flew by quick. And there's some problems here. I was digging it. I was digging it for a minute. But when we get to this final episode, the one where you just think everything's gonna be wrapped up, there's gonna be some craziness. You know, in the earlier seasons, there's just things coming at you left and right, shocking you, surprising you. And what do we get in the final episode? We've get water bottles, right? <laughs> one of the final scenes, if you really paid attention, you would have seen there's water bottles on water bottles. That's why there's a water bottle on my thumbnail. That should have been the king of the seven kingdoms, is the damn water bottle. There's a water bottle behind Davos and Sam in one of the final scenes. It was like, what? The Starbucks cup wasn't enough? We gotta get some more modern drinking utensils on display here? It's gonna all turn out that it was just a dream or something, right? I don't freaking know. But man, this episode... The pacing, the vibe, the feel was kind of strange for me, anyway. You know, it starts where the previous episode ends. King's Landing's destroyed. There's children's, women's, men's, innocent people all over the place, burnt to a crispy crisp. Crispy crisp? A crispy crisp? What? <laughs> They're just burnt up and done, right? John is done. He's defeated. He's got that puppy dog look. I mean, he's had that forever. Tyrion is done. The, the the queen, she's rejoicing and celebrating her victory. She's out there giving a speech to all the unsullied. Everybody's out there. Yeah! She's telling them, like, you know what? We ain't done yet. We got more people to liberate. We got more people to destroy. And it's just... At that scene, you know, there was so much going on before that. With Davos, John, with Grey Worm, No Worm, whatever you want to call him. Uh, you know, Tyrion, everybody wandering off and doing these things, and then boom, boom, boom. Everybody's all at this one scene, like, in a heartbeat. Like, I don't, I don't know, it just seemed a little off to me. But she's out there giving this speech, Tyrion comes up, you know, they kind of have their little thing, like, hey, you, you betrayed me, you let your brother free, you killed a bunch of peoples, boom, he tosses his badge, his little hand of the queen thingamajig, and you would think right there, this dude, he came back to talk some smack. He's gonna die, right? Varys, or whatever his name was, you know, he got he got killed pretty quick with, with the dragon, Drogon or whatever. You would think, like, at this point with her mentality that she's just gonna behead him right there or something. But no, he gets sent off. The Unsullied take him away. So John is there just like, ugh, like, what do I do, right? We haven't known what the hell he's gonna do for some episodes now. It's It's been a character that's just been lost. I mean, he's been trudged through the mud for his whole life. But you were just waiting. You know, this dude was brought back to life. Like, where's his moment of victory? Like, is this going to be it? I know so many people are rooting for John, but this was not the episode for it. it th this whole series was not for him. He had nothing to do with anything. He was just a pawn, and we'll get to that in a moment. Everybody... All the characters you could think of were just pawns. Just ridiculous. But the queen, you know, she goes off. John is right there staring at that ass. Arya is right there. Like, boom. She just shows up. She's there too, right? <laughs> and, and her only purpose in this episode, I think she might have had two purposes, but her, own, her, her main purpose in this episode was to tell John the obvious. You know, his whole thing, my queen, she's my queen. Right? It's like, come on, man. Like, wake up. He just, he wouldn't wake up. Right? But she tells him, I can tell a killer when I see one. No shit, Sherlock. I think we all could tell that she's a killer. But that was pretty much her only purpose. And then to sail off to discover America, like, that was her only other purpose. Maybe for another series, a spinoff. I know they talked about prequels, right? But maybe that was her purpose, her, her arc was completed that way down the road they could do another series a spin-off of her sailing to the to the wild west and having some crazy adventures 
I don't know, but it, it was a little disappointing with her too. Like a lot of these characters, their ends, their their story arcs just kind of it ends in a way where you're just like, man, I wanted more. And that's kind of what the problem is. We all want specific things out of these shows that we hold near and dear and cherish. You know, we hold these near and dear to our hearts and we don't get what we were hoping for. And this episode definitely didn't give a lot of people what they were hoping for. But there's that. So John goes to see Tyrion in his little sh jail cell or whatever. Tyrion's like, y you know, dude, I know this is going to sound crazy. But you're going to have to kill this bitch. <laughs> and he's just like, but she's my queen. I can't betray her. She's always going to be my queen. And, y y you know, from there, it was just kind of, it was kind of strange. So... Daenerys is in the throne room with the Iron Throne, what's left of it anyway. She's staring at that thing all giddy and crazy and happy and excited. She finally got what she always wanted. Jon comes up in there, like I said, boom, boom, boom. Everything's the pacing and, and just the... the I, I know people have complained about that in other seasons. Like, how could a character... I mean, this is all in one area, but everything was just cut real quick. But I can understand, you know, other seasons... People are across the damn world, and then next thing you know, they're in another part of the world. So I guess you kind of get used to that. But this episode, it was a little off-putting just because of the pacing, I guess. For me, anyway. But she starts, like, you know, her whole vision of what the world is, you know, d destroying everybody who, who doesn't share the same vision as her. You know, and, and John's just like, you know, we, we, we got to, you know, have mercy. Like, you know, teach people to, you know... To, to learn their lesson, to forgive all this this stuff. And she's like, just be with me. Haha, -ha, we could we could be together and have this crazy world to ourselves. It's like, what the heck? Why would she still think or have any hope that she would be with John? Like she knows who he is. She knows how the people have looked at him. She knows how he has reacted, how he's looked at her. Wouldn't you get the hint? Like, I seriously thought she was just going to kill this dude at some point, but no. Still has them feelings, man. I I, I don't know. But he just goes into the, the, the whole thing, you know, trying to convince her, trying to find a reason to, to have her be a good person that he wants her to be because he doesn't want to be in that position of power. We know that. We understand that. But it still seemed like it should have been. Because the person who does get the power is somebody you didn't think of or d didn't even want it to begin with, right? So when John's trying to reason with her, he finally just like, you know what? You'll always be my queen. And they start with that make out sesh. <laughs> I never thought I would say sesh, but yeah, they start making out and then uh, stabs her. She's done. Very uneventful death. She's bleeding out. Like, uh, 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 that's it. Her baby dragon. The final baby, he like senses mama's gone. He flies up, all pissed off, looking at John like you, you killed my mamas, right? Starts that fire breathing. To me, I'm like, you know, I guess you got to suspend belief on, on on some of this stuff here. You know, I was thinking like the previous episode. Doesn't a dragon have like some kind of, you know, do they have unlimited fire breathing abilities? Because I would think this fool would need to stop and take a breather for a little bit, right? But I guess that's kind of beside the point. But he flames up and you're like, oh, crap, John is done. He's dead. But no, he's not. This was kind of cheesy to me because the, the, the dragon, he breathes fire on the Iron Throne and melts it. It's the image of, of, of the thing that caused people to do bad things. And it's like, does this dragon really? This dragon wasn't, he, he didn't talk or anything. He didn't share his feelings with us. Like, was he that in tune to what was really going on. I mean, I think he knew some, you know, what was going on. This this woman, his mom, she's trying to take take over the world. But how does he know this stupid throne? He melts it. That's that's all it is. The imagery of him destroying what made her do wrong and what other people wanted, you know, to do wrong to get that kind of thing. And it's like, all right, whatever. John's not killed. Drogon scoops up Daenerys and flies off, never to be seen again. And then this is this is where like the pacing and everything, like time flashes forward, I guess. But it's like, boom. Did John tell somebody he killed her? Did the body was gone? Drogon flew away with her. What the hell is going on here? Did he tell somebody? Did somebody see this? Because now the next thing we know, 
as Tyrion's up for his judgment, facing whatever is going to happen to him, and John is locked up. It's like, okay, I understand, like, it, like he wasn't going to get it. Like, if he told anybody there, if he confessed his crime, the Unsullied, would, wouldn't they just slaughter his ass? Wouldn't Grey Worm just kill him right then and there? Why wait for it? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, wouldn't him be in a rage, like Grey Worm especially, wouldn't he be in a rage and just kill him? Instead of putting him in a cell? Didn't make sense to me. But he's locked up for whatever reason. We don't know what the hell happened between then and there. But Tyrion's up to face his judgment. Sansa, the rest of the the heads of the houses are all present. They're arguing over who should be in charge and you know decide the fate of Jon and everything else. They need a king, uh, you, you know, and they kind of throw out these ideas and just kind of laugh at you know democracy and stuff from Sansa. Ah, you dummy. It's <laughs> just like you sit back down like everybody like just sit back down shut up So as they're arguing, you know Tyrion all shackled up he gets to have an uninterrupted speech an uninterrupted speech and he's talking about how everybody should decide and What's the most important thing is stories and who has the best story of everybody Bran, right? How the hell does he have the best story? I think there's a lot more interesting stuff going on than this dude in a wheelchair who hasn't really spoken much of a word and who doesn't seem to really, you know, doesn't really seem to care about a lot. Like, why would he be the choice for the king? So Tyrion's like, dude, like, would you take it? You know, if, if, if everybody voted for it, would you be our king? Oh my God. Like, I fell over laughing at this point. Because it just, it all made sense. This whole thing was about Bran the whole time. He says, why do you think I came all this way? Holy crap, right? He planned this all along. He knew everything that was going to happen. He planned this. Everybody was a pawn in his master plan for him to become king, even though it always seemed like he didn't, he didn't want nothing like that. But he got it. They voted on it. Sansa was the one, you know, you're like, what's really going on here? Is she doesn't want him to be king, but she's like kind of reluctant. Like, you know what? As long as the North is independent from all this boo-boo-ness, yeah, Bran could be king. So now he's the king of the six kingdoms. Sansa is queen of the North and everything is good again, right? Tyrion, he's, he's granted hand of the king to Bran. And Grey Worm obviously doesn't like that. Like, hey, he needs to face his 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 judgment. And Bran's like, dude, I'm the king, man. You do as I say. He's gonna he's gonna write his wrongs and serve out his his sentence. Pretty much, writing his wrongs his hand of the king. Okay. And then John, his fate. Which I I mean I'm still debating with myself if if this was if this made sense or not. But he's sent off to the Night's Watch again. Because, okay, yeah, the Unsullied, all these people, they'd be crazy. Like, you just let him go free? But the Unsullied, everybody leaves. Why couldn't John go back to the North? Why couldn't John be with Bran, whoever? No, he has to go to the Night's Watch. So, he can't have kids, he can't be fun, he can't be having any fun. He's got to go back to Castle Black. This is pretty much where the episode ends. It's it's over. There's There's some fan service here where he gets back to Castle Black... He, he finally pets Ghost, his dire wolf, right? So that was a thing people were talking crap about. Like, he never petted him. He just looked at him, this kind of blah, 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 blah. And the response was, well, we thought it was fitting, you know, the way that went down, you know, not to go into all that stuff. But it was, you know, the dire wolf's mostly like a CG thing. So we just wanted to keep it simple. So fan service, you guys have been bitching. I don't know if they, like... Like it re-recorded this or something. I don't know if they tacked it on somehow, but he he scratches the dog pets, you know, the dire wolf or whatever. So everybody's happy now. He finally acknowledged his his pet, right? And it's like, what the heck? So then he leaves with the the free folk because there's really no point being at Castle Black. Like, what is what what are they? Is there even a Night's Watch anymore? Like, didn't make sense. So I was like, why couldn't he be in the North? Like, okay, he gets to go with the free people do whatever the hell he wants right he's just like screw this i'm out that's pretty much it you know it's kind of a silent ending just music playing and just seeing you know sansa becoming the queen of the north and Arya going on her grand adventures 
freaking pirates of the 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 dark waters or whatever i don't freaking know but that was it man it all led up to this and you know i watched this this episode i watched all the episodes with my wife and she went to bed not too long ago she's like i need to go to bed i gotta get up early i'm just wanting to go to sleep and forget this season ever happened that's fucked up man like when i really think about it you know you had that beginning this the first seasons were great i have a hard time getting into tv shows but this one it was like that first episode i was hooked i love fantasy stuff and i was hooked they were throwing things at you left and right yeah they changed things up from the books a little bit but the writing was pretty good they had something to base it off of the books these final episodes and whatnot the final couple seasons a few seasons there's no books. There's no written word on this stuff. So things just kind of went off the rails a bit. It had to end, but it just seemed like there should have been a lot more focus on these characters, on the things that were happening, because everything just seemed so uneventful in this final episode. The first, like, half hour, like, it was, like, what, 84 minutes, 85 minutes, something like that? It was, like, 10 minutes shorter than the previous episode. I thought it would have been longer. I was like, man, it's going to be like a two-hour episode. We're in it. It's going to be crazy, right? Get the popcorn going. But no, this episode was less than the previous episode, I think, when I looked at the minutes. Um, but, yeah, it just it had to end. But it, it just these characters, they should have spent more time with them, fleshed some things out a little more. It just it was It was just my heart was rushing those first 30 minutes. It was pounding. I was like, this is exciting. And then it just kind of, like, dropped. It was like, what the hell are they doing, man? It was just the tone was off. The pacing was off. It was just like, let's hurry up and get this done. The water bottles. It was just nuts, man. It just, the quality wasn't quite there. A lot of people are going to be disappointed. I understand there's going to be people like, people are crying and complaining. Give it up. It was great and all that kind of stuff. I enjoyed the series as a whole this final episode not so much even the episode that was all dark even though it was supposedly our faults to not have our tvs tuned and you should be watching it like it's a movie i i have a projector that we've been watching this season on 300 inches on the damn wall all fine-tuned with with software to make sure the image was right and i couldn't see a damn thing in that episode but i still was like you know what that was that kind of sucked but it was it was okay it was just this final episode, man. It was, it just set ourselves up for disappointment, unfortunately. I just felt like there could have been so much more done with it. I wasn't as disappointed as others were with the previous episodes, but this episode for sure just, it, it left something to be desired. And that's the unfortunate thing is you get into these series and it's not necessarily going to end the way you want to end it. It's not your vision, so... If things don't go the way you imagine, you're going to be disappointed. And it's not that this didn't go the way I expected it. Sure, there's things that I kind of wish would have happened. I just wish the episode was just a little more involved. It was just very uneventful to me. It was a little hokey. It was what it was, man. So, like, this episode, man, I, I, I don't give ratings to anything. But this episode, out of 10, I give it, like, a 4. That's how I felt about it. Every other episode besides this one was a lot higher than that. You know, this one a four for me. Let me know what you guys thought. That was it. I know this is kind of a, a divergence from my normal content, but people asked me, they said, I want to know what you think. What did you, what, what were your thoughts on this? And there we go. It's all about the water bottles. Water bottle. King of the six kingdoms, right? The frick. So... I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, bye-byes, and boom. Bye!